Alright guys, welcome back to another PBR Wi-Fi battle. Uh, this is the first battle I actually had with that trainer from my last battle. Apparently that's the only person I could find on PBR this, uh, this week. So anyway, I started with Primate, they started with Electrode. Now, I believe I switched out straight away. I don't remember why exactly I did that. I guess I was, uh, predicting a Thunderbolt. And since Prime Ape's defenses are weak, it can't really take it. So I go into Shuckle to uh, take whatever oncoming attack is coming. And it ends up being Thunderbolt. So Thunderbolt doesn't do anything to Shuckle. Considering Shuckle's defenses are monstrous, even though it's got incredibly low stats and everything else. Now, this is a rather unique Shuckle. It's uh, a sub acupressure shuckle. Of course, acupressure has to be used first before I substitute. Otherwise, um, I won't be able to utilize, uh, utilize shuckle correctly. However, he taunts me, which is common to see on an electrode, but I just wasn't expecting it. I don't know why. So I'm just going to go straight away for Earthquake, but Earthquake's not going to be doing anything considering shuckle's incredibly low attack. It's beyond pitiful. So he gets a crit with Thunderbolt. Even a crit doesn't even do that much to Shuckle. I Earthquake, and as you can see, that does only an eighth of damage, even as a super effective attack. So, Shuckle really needs to rely on Acupressure to boost up a bit. Which, uh, I can't do because I'm taunted. So I'm just gonna Earthquake again. I'm not gonna bother switching out, there's no point. He ends up switching out Electrode, and he goes into Relicanth, I believe. Yeah, he goes into Relicanth. So, I'm going to Earthquake again. Relicanth has very high defense, so it's not even gonna be phased by the Earthquake. So, there's really not much I can do with Shuckle here. Now, the Taunt wears off, so I'm able to start Accupressuring since Relicanth doesn't carry Taunt. And Relicanth, I still have to watch out for because it's, uh, it's head smash is more than enough to actually wipe Shuckle out. So I have to be very careful. I Accupressure anyway with Shuckle and take my chances and I get the Evasion Raise. So Shuckle is going to well, be able to evade pretty much any attack Relicanth throws at it. However, if Shuckle is hit by an attack, chances are it's going to be taken down, especially if it's Head Smash. So I'm going to continue to Accupressure just to try and get some attack raising. He goes for Head Smash, and that's going to miss this turn. I Accupressure, and this time I believe I get the attack boost. Yeah, I get no, I get the special attack boost, which is not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for either special defense, defense, or attack. Uh, nothing else really matters at this point. Well, you could raise my speed, but then again, what would that do for Shuckle? Anyway, he goes for the head smash again, and it ends up missing again. I'm gonna go for Accupressure yet again, and this time I believe I get the... Yeah, I get the attack raise this time. So I believe I attack him this turn, just to see how much damage I can do to it. Oh no, I substitute. I'm gonna protect myself before I attack just in case he doesn't hit me again. So he goes for Head Smash yet again, and it misses. So as you can see, Accupressure's Evasion Raise is really helping me here. I set up the Substitute, and now I'm protected for a couple turns as long as he can't hit me. I'm going to go for the Earthquake here just to see how much damage I can do to Relicanth with the uh, Attack Boost this time. Though I doubt it's going to be doing too much still because, again, Shuckle's attack is almost as pathetic as Blissey's. So, I Earthquake, and that's going to do a little more damage, not more than uh, last time. I'd say maybe a sixteenth more, which is still pathetic. So, I'm going to Earthquake again. And I believe he goes for the waterfall this turn. And this time he believe no he d yeah he doesn't. I thought he hit this turn, but it doesn't. So I go for the earthquake, and I get a crit this time, which really did a good chunk of damage to that relicanth. That crit was actually very very uh, important in this battle. So anyway. I'm going to continue to Earthquake. He finally gets to hit with Waterfall. That's going to be strong enough to break my Substitute. And... 
I don't remember how much life he's gonna have after this earthquake. But he still manages to stay alive. If I had gotten another crit there, it probably would have uh, finished him off. But anyway, he's got about an eighth of life left. Shuckle's still standing strong. And depending on whether or not he hits will depend on whether or not Shuckle can take it out or even survive. So, I believe this turn he goes for the head smash. He manages to hit this time. And that's unfortunately going to be strong enough to take Shuckle out. Because even though Shuckle's got high defense, Relicant's uh, head smash with stab, and considering how high its attack is, is definitely going to be able to uh, wipe it out. So, here I was debating whether to go into Porygon Z or to go into Primeape. I decided to go into Primeape. And uh, try to finish this thing off, though even though it's got rock polish, I don't think I would have been able to stop it. So, should Primeape have survived the attack uh, from Relicant, I was going to go for Thunder Punch to try and finish it off. He goes for Waterfall, and that's going to do a good amount of damage to Primeape, but Primeape manages to stay alive. I didn't think he actually would with his paper defenses, but somehow he managed. So... I hit it with Thunder Punch and I managed to take it out, which was big because that thing was a total threat to my team. And who text messaged me? No, uh, no big deal. Anyway, the next Pokemon he goes out to is Electrode. Now, Electrode's going to be able to finish my Primeape off with a Thunderbolt, so chances are. I'm not going to be walking away with this match. I just decided to go for the close combat, even though it doesn't matter because Thunderbolt is just going to take me out. And that's it for Primeape. So here I only have one Pokemon left, and it's my Porygon Z. Now, a Thunderbolt from Electrode would be strong enough to most likely take out my Z. But uh, I decide just to protect anyway to stall out one turn and activate my Toxic Orb just in case I'm able to survive Electrode's Thunderbolt and uh, get on the offensive. So I protect this turn. He tries to go out with a bang with Explosion, which was the biggest mistake he could have made because I managed to protect myself with the Explosion and now from what it looks like I may actually be able to pull this off so his final Pokemon is going to be I forgot but the fact he exploded on me was just a waste but they like to really go out with a bang for some reason and as you can see that just cost him because his last Pokemon is cast form and I know a cast form can't do squat to my Porygon Z unless of course he gets a critical hit so I'm gonna go for the facade that's going to do a heavy amount of damage to cast form, but it's just going to survive with about a uh, 16th of its life. He's going to go for Ice Beam, probably hoping for a critical hit. I mean, not a critical hit, a freeze. But he's not going to get it. So I'm going to be able to finish this thing off with a facade and take this battle. So I managed to pull out of this one very lucky. He's just, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah, I managed to take this one out of a careless mistake. So, that's it, guys, and I will see you next time.